trying something new in our artwork can give a positive lift to the day. And stepping out of our comfort zone is a great way to start a new month. In this week's video, I have lots of tips and ideas for you. I'm sharing some new supplies and creating a journal spread in this. If you share this passion for paper, for journaling and paint, then hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I have lots more videos and ideas to come. And today it's botanical leaves. As a focal point on the left, I'll take you through making this pocket and we're having fun with paint. You could definitely use your pencils or other craft supplies like watercolour paint. This is my set from Arteza in a lovely range of colours. And I'm going to show you these. They're chalk pens in earth tone shades. They're really easy to use and not just a little bit fun. So let's get set up and go. And the colours that I'm using today are to start with sage green. I'm using latte brown, also in watercolour. Just a little dab of each. I have this gouache in pearl eucalyptus. And that's a metallic paint. And this lovely shade in bronze, which is also a gouache paint. It's a gorgeous range of greens to play with today. I have a piece of watercolour paper, which is 15 by 7 centimetres or 6 by 2 and 3 quarter inches. And the size I cut to reflect the dimensions of this page. I'm going to draw and paint some leaves a bit like this, this or this. For this one I used a fine liner pen and I liked the way it bled. For this one I used a basic pen from Staples. Whoops, no that was this one. Can you see this leakage effect? So for this one I used a ball pen. Not sure that was meant for art but never mind. I have some water and a basic paintbrush and we're ready to have a go. I draw a sweeping line with the pen and start drawing leaves at the top. Each is a simple long oval with a line down the middle and I basically just work from the top to the bottom. Add a branch, draw a leaf and work from side to side. Nothing too scientific, just go with the flow. Work your way down and get a little bit larger at the bottom. Every time I do this, it just looks a little bit different. And here I'm adding water to those super luscious greens. And I begin by dabbing over the shapes of those leaves. So it's dab, dab and roll, very gently, one by one. Keep the paint very watery. And as you're dabbing, resist the temptation to fill every space of white. And here I'm dabbing with a little metallic bronze. Nothing too regular in pattern and just using the side of the brush. And it's this contrasting colours that's really a lot of fun. And now I'm using a finer brush to add a tiny bit of detail. Again, using the side of the brush, just touching each leaf. And really less is more, so don't go over the top. I put a little bit of water at the base, I want to give this bush something to sit in. Add 
I'm adding a really gentle wash here with an Arteza Real Brush Pen. Dabbing for a little bit of texture. And then going in with some fine liner pens. Firstly in green and then in a darker shade of brown. I'm taking a contrasting shade of paint, this time in pear green. And I'm patiently adding some splats. Some simple paint dots over the page. Swapping in some metallic bronze there to add some variety to the colour of dots. Nothing too heavy here, but I really like the effect. So these pieces will go on the left here. And I can quickly make this pocket. I'm using a squarish piece of paper, so that's a book page. And I'm just tidying up the side. taking off the rough edge before we do some simple folding. If you like making pockets, I have a video from last week making three different types, all really easy. They're actually a bit addictive once you get started. I start by folding this top left hand corner and making a bigger fold in from the bottom right. I'm creating these right angles to make it look tidy. I need to cut here along this fold. So being quite neat, I snip into the center. Fold the top left over to the right, then fold the bottom up to the top, tuck that flap behind and glue it down. I'll put a link in the description box down below to a video where I make this pocket in a really easy step-by-step -step way. And I'm just tidying it up and rounding the corner. And I like that metallic bronze so much, I want to add some to the pocket. So I add a bit of bling in the form of this rose gold washi. And I feel like these embellishments are really coming together. A little bit more pampering, some faux stitching in brown fine liner pen. It's just a little bit more subtle than a deep dark black. Leaving this space at the bottom. And I wanted to share something I've been playing with on the side. It's these chalk pens in earth tones and the lovely black paper. I had a quick go at painting this plant, a bit like the one I painted a few weeks ago. This other plant over here and I scribbled some text up here. What I really like about these is they're just very forgiving and by that I mean if you don't have great lettering skills you could still have a lot of fun and get a great effect. They flow very easily and they're nice and chunky to hold. 
and I think overall that they're just a lot of fun. So I thought for today's spread I'd do something in white. So here I'm just rotating the nib to make use of the finer point. And those tweezers come in the set. So you can see how it flows like chalk and makes lettering a little bit easier. And here I'm just playing really to see how it comes out. I want some pattern papers on the page so here's a selection from my stash. I've got spots in different sizes, I've got purples, I've got aqua and brown. A few vintage papers, lots to choose from here. And I've whittled it down to a few that I might use. Not quite sure how yet, but let's see. So here are my basic pieces. Let's get some of them stuck on the page. I'm starting down at the bottom with a small piece of scrapbook paper that I've stamped on. Gluing it down with a glue stick and making a background for this main piece. I think I'll put the July banner behind it, even though it hides some of the text, but you and I know it's there, don't we? Just making sure that's in the right place. And our painted bush can go on top. This is quite thick and strong watercolour paper, so I'm giving it lots of glue. And I'm pressing it down really firmly to make sure it stays in place. So let's add just a little bit of text. I really like writing in my journals. So July ends and another begins. And now we can play on the right hand side. This lovely spotty pattern will make a great background. The dots are quite small, so it doesn't overly compete. Just using my glue stick to set that in place. And my sloping three-tier pocket will sit nicely on top. And I guess what I've done here is stuck to a simple colour palette of green and bronze and a little bit of black. And I'm adding the second banner that tells us that August begins. And a bit of personal ephemera here, a piece with my mum's handwriting on it. She used to keep a journal about the weather. I'm using some of my little scraps to go in the pocket here in various sizes and shapes but colours that still go. This brown one has real texture so that can peep out at the back. I just want something here so we'll start with a few more words. Hashtag Junk Journal July which gave me the prompt for this spread. few more subtle faux stitches and a nod to that prompt reflections on a month and this is my first spread for the month of August thank you to everyone who's given me so much support around my channel and to the 500 or so of you who answered a couple of recent YouTube polls that I put out 
I've got really exciting ideas for the rest of 2019, so hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell and come back and see me next time for some more junk journaling fun.